Hey guys, Marty Rooster here, and today I'll be showing you guys all the primary weapons in the Infinite Warfare beta. Now, some of these we're obviously not going to be able to use because some of them are only available in the full game. Now, this video is to go out there so we can all, I guess everything's recorded on what was in the beta, and later on I can compare it to the full game, and also not everyone has access to the beta, obviously, so this is for you guys too. Okay. On with the primary weapons. Okay, first we have the NV4. Full auto ballistic rifle and moderate fire rate yields increased stability for best in class accuracy. Ideal to mid to long range engagements. Oh, I love it how it says what attachment you unlock in the bottom right, what level it is, and the fire rate. That is, and it actually says numbers for damage and stuff. I'm in love. I am in love. I am so in love. We have the R3K, three round burst energy rifle. Each burst applies extreme stopping power at precise intervals. K-Bar 32, full auto ballistic rifle channels a fast fire rate through a lightweight mold for increased hip fire control and mobility. Type two. Full auto energy rifle, hold Y to split this rifle into a Kimbo auto pistol mode for close quarter combat, features the highest fire rate in the class. Oh my god. You can make an auto rifle, but as soon as you're going to enter a building, you can split this bitch into two fully automatic handguns. Then once you're outside the building, you can always just switch back. That is sweet. That is really sweet, but I bet that that though, the auto rifle is mediocre and so are the pistols. Because normally they can't be overpowered, you know. That's how I would balance it anyway. Right, then you've got the Valk, which is looks like an AK-47. Full auto energy rifle. Deploys best in class stopping power to low dependable fire rates. Okay, moving on to the SMGs. First up we have the ERAD. Full auto energy fire on a wide dispersion muzzle damages dampers recoil. <laughs> Providing highest accuracy in class. So this kind of like reminds me of the Razorback. High accuracy, but the damage just isn't really all that there. Yeah, could be entertaining to use. FHR 40. Full auto ballistic firearm. Offsets a mid modest range with an extreme fire rate thanks to a unique magnetic bolt carrier. Oh, oh look at that fire rate. It's 97. It's like the Vespa right there. Jesus Christ. Karma 45. Looks like the uh, this looks like the Vector it does. Full auto ballistic firearm. Built-in dual magazine provides faster reloads and increased ammo capacity. Oh, I love it how it has the built-in perks. Just like I mean, Advanced Warfare did it totally wrong. But yeah, this is just the base models have built-in perks. Even if the damage or whatever is shit, it's got fast reloads to kind of compensate. That is cool. RPR Evo. Full auto ballistic fire and hold Y to toggle assault rifle mode. An integrated hybrid sight enhances longer range engagement. So you can change the sights and you can change it to an assault rifle then back to an SMG. Like I said with the previous weapon you could do this. It probably means the assault rifle is probably mediocre at best. Then you got the HVR. Full auto ballistic firearm uses heavy... What the hell is that word? Terrestrial ammo. The best in class stopping power. I like the looks of this weapon. I really do. Probably because it's blue though, to be honest. you know. Now we're on to the LMGs. That's like a sniper rifle. What the hell? Full auto energy weapon. Offers a dependable fire in high capacity power cell for sustained output. So it has a huge ass magazine. You were shooting for days with this thing. Then you've got the Mauler. This looks scary. Full auto heavy ballistic weapon and experimental guys in the Delinka channels ultra rapid fire into a tight hip spread. So it's like the chainsaw, really good from the hip. Well, the chainsaw could only really be from the hip, really. Yeah. Then you got the Titan. Full auto energy weapon delivers high damage with a strong recoil. Cool. Those weapons are kind of more about skill. High damage but high recoil. More or less about skill. Then we've got the sniper rifles. KBS longbow. Bolt action ballistic rifles. One shot, one kill from the waist up. 
The chamber in break scope aim. Ah, interesting. They try to kind of balance it there a little bit. I see. EBR 800, semi-auto energy rifle. Hold Y to activate assault rifle mode for automatic fire and reduce power consumption. I like how they do any snipe rifles. I really do. Widowmaker. This looks fucking sweet. Like a desert storm. Two round burst bolt action ballistic rifle. Features a unique chamber stack that pre predictable two round burst fire in a lightweight mold for increased mobility. This sounds like it's going to be a beast. DMR1. Semi-auto ballistic rifle. Updated design retains a top loading clip. While granting moderate stopping power at low recoil. Allows early clip ejection. So I guess some weapons you can't just reload on the fly. You have to wait till you shoot all the bullets. What? Shotguns. We have the Reva. Semi-auto ballistic shotgun. Features a cycle drum magazine for quick trigger responses. As it says semi-auto. So yeah, it's pretty much just enhancing that. Banshee. This looks cool. Pump action sonic shotgun. Employs a high decibel acoustic driver yielding balanced stopping power and fire rate. DCM-8. That's unique. Full auto energy shotgun. Rapid fire capability supported by a high capacity power cell. This does not sound like a good time. People are going to be spraying with this thing. Oh my oh my. Rack 9. Pump action ballistic shotgun, 12 gauge terrestrial armor provides superior stopping power, while the integrated choke increases ADS accuracy. Huh. So I guess this weapon is going to be okay from the hip, but it really, really encourages you to shoot aim down sights. Interesting. Now we have the classic weapons. I think this is the ACR, I think, from Modern Warfare 2. Full auto ballistic rifle. Celebrates for rapid powerful fire and integrated grenade launcher. I think this is the ACR, it's to be safe. Mac Tab 45. Full auto ballistic firearm. Popular with old earth agencies for delivering high stopping power at range despite its low fire rate. Obviously the UMP from Modern Warfare 2, right? TF-141. Bolt action ballistic rifle. Renowned for superior stability, handing and unforgiving recoil. That's got to be the intervention or what, the DSR or something? S. Ravage, pump action ballistic shotgun, an esteemed and rugged firearm that trades a slow rechamber rate for incredible range of stopping power. Back in the day, I was sniping people with this shotgun. It was just crazy, crazy, but those were the good days. <laughs> if someone has a Spaz 12, bro, you ran, you ran. Now we have the M1, semi-auto ballistic rifle, an old reliable service rifle with moderate stopping power and low pre-car. The top loading clip must be exhausted to reload. Same as Black Ops 3 guys, if you guys didn't have the weapon, what happened was um, you had to empty the magazine and then it will reload automatically. You can't shoot two bullets, kill a guy and reload. I, I, the weapon wasn't good in Black Ops 3, I don't know why they keep bringing it back. I mean what, it was on Advanced Warfare 2 or something? Yeah, I just, I don't know why, guys. There's so many other weapons that deserve to be here, and the MM, the M1 is just, yeah, I, I don't know. Well, if you guys enjoyed this look at the primary weapons, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see Infinite Warfare footage throughout the week, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.